was going to get a sneaky pass inside the box to get another goal. Okay. One of my two goals. That's a, that'd be interesting to see. Um, and death, man. I, hey, I'm two for two. I'm on a hot streak. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you can't give it up now, right? Can't. Got to keep it up. All right. Before I give my prediction, we have to go down to our sideline reporter, Wayne Fletsky. Wayne, what are you seeing from these boys on the pitch before they get started? Cheers, boys. We're uh, we're looking pretty good down here. The boys are ready to go. I, I can't agree with Adam, though. I, saw, I was at the game against Bayern. They put in five goals. They were flying high. No one can stop them today. I say 4-2 Man City. Easy victory. Back to you. Cheers, Wayne. Uh, tonight, I think... I think Atlanta said they kind of surprised me with that Inter Milan (laughs) win. And uh, I think tonight they're going to bring it home, beating Manchester City. I'm going to go 5 1. You all right, Adam? You die on me? Oh, my bad. Nope, I'm just getting cut out. So I don't know what's really happening right now, but we're good. We're back. (laughs) I said I'm going with Atlanta 5 1. I think it's going to be a domination. Domination performance. There we go. I just heard five to one. I was like, man, I wonder if you called that Man City too. <laughs> <laughs> asinine. Asinine. Absolutely. <laughs> Nuclear fear saying two nothing Atlanta. The notorious RDO is saying two one city. We got rolled in some predictions now. Uh, these two teams are still sitting in the lobby right now, but I'm sure we'll be getting them connected very shortly. I believe we are just waiting for City to get out of their game. Oh, okay. So I'm getting reports, reports from the, the guys upstairs, giving me that intel. So, letting us know what's going on. What's going on for sure? 60th minute, two minutes ago. So it's gonna be absolutely a little bit of a fill a in bit here. Away. Yeah. Uh, we can talk about some other stuff. I don't know. I think we had some other games happen on tonight. I know League Two had their playoff match tonight. I don't believe the score is in yet though. I'll be All interested right. to see who gets promoted out of there, Barcelona or Newcastle. Yeah. Be I don't know who advanced in there, but if I see a score, I'll update everyone. Sure. I do. I can't know... inform you that Dorman, right? Dorman has yeah. come through on away goals. We, it's great we, to see. We had a real tough match uh, in <laughs> Ireland against Braga. They actually last game day they they smacked us around three uh, nothing. Yes. Tonight it ended four four on yes. aggregate, but we had the two away goals, so we'll be adv- advancing to play. Uh, Will so- it be a repeat? Of last year, Dortmund got through on the Wiggles against Real Madrid last year and then fall, fell to sixth place Liverpool. Get all the way to the uh, finals. Yeah. Right. Well, this, this year we have a more formidable, not, not to say that uh, Real Madrid yeah, was no. formidable yeah, again. We were trash, bro. We were trash. It's okay. I don't see how it is. No, I'm just saying <laughs> Valencia is fourth and they, they, they beat Frankfurt well, yeah. and mm-hmm. they've got one of the no, better yeah. offenses. Um, yeah, Death Row Tall and Mambo up top, absolutely killing the game. Yeah, so it, it's going to be Death Row now, the official League One Golden Boot winner, I believe. I believe so, yeah. I believe It'll he... be a matchup between him and Leak. Yeah. Two top scorers in League One, it'll be good to see. It'll be fun. Uh, they, I know they beat um, Frankfurt 8-3 to three, uh, tonight. So Oh, man, yeah, there you go. They're, absolutely in, dominant they're in form, so it'll be... Uh, we got some Super League results coming in i believe still as well we got nyc out of relegation good to see but young boys if they can pull off two wins they can leapfrog them back send nyc straight back down oh boys we got <laughs> benfica on top by two seven points right now oh wait does that mean i think that I believe benfica is champions 36 games played seven points clear there should be two left i believe then. yeah yeah only that's only six points i believe benfica is your super league champion yeah, there's seven points ahead. Well, congrats yep. to Benfica. Yep, absolutely. Getting it done today, for sure. A little bit of a slow start to begin with, but then uh, absolutely. picked it up I... after the first few weeks. And... Call me Rick. <laughs> well played, I, I do this. Yeah, they started off a little slow, but absolutely heated it up and just been on a consistent tear absolutely all, all season long. We had a game, tried to give them a game today. Almost. Couldn't get consistent to the three points, but uh, yeah. There you go, on top. It looks like their uh, their defense actually picked it up a bit. They ended up tied for the top defense. Well, they're still two games yeah, played, yep, so that could go. change. But currently, they're tied with AC Milan and Inter Milan for the best defense with only 24 goals allowed. Uh, I think the big change for them this season was the goals for. You know, that 74 goals for is, I think, second yeah. behind just Lazio. Uh, I think so, yeah. 
So yeah, no, they absolutely – that turnaround from last year was a really heavy defensive performance this year. You see a lot more from the offense coming through. The defense still absolutely solid. So if you can add an offense onto that, absolutely killer team. Yeah, adding, I think, uh, Stone and then um, they added the Cam, the uh, Swifties, I think really mm-hmm. helped them out, kind of bol- bolster up that offense. So congrats to them. Seven points with only one game day. Uh, that's all she wrote for Super League. So – all there the title go. winners are in, still determining who's going to advance from uh, League One, and then yep, they got a playoff uh, final on Sunday, I believe, as well as the Royal Cup final, and then we have our League Two playoff match happening today. Hopefully, we'll have some news on that. Maybe Wayne can get on that and give us some info. Yeah, we're uh, we're currently discussing. I'm hearing on the phones that there are some issues with the the League Two final. Details are un- un- unclear in the playoffs. But there was a an exit. Uh, things I'm not able to say on air right now. It's a very tense situation. When I have it, more information, I'll be able to update you at that point. All Back right, to cheers, you, man. Cheers, hey, hate to see. I hate to see that. I hate to see, hate to see complications. But uh, That's yeah, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a good time. Especially we got. I can inform people while we're waiting still here. Uh, we got a golden boot race in League Uno. We got brother Louis of AC Milan with 30 goals. Lupe with 29. That's going into the night. See what one stats come in. Yeah, we'll got to check that got out an absolute tomorrow. hot race. So I believe any of the top four could get it. If not, Chronic can have a great night on the last game day and sneak in there. Yeah. Only five goals back. Really in form. He's been in form all season. Uh, take your look at. at I, would ha- I would hate to ask for your opinion, but I'm gonna say, like, what, what what would be your opinion on going into the night with like Atlanta on their form through against Man City tonight? I'm sorry. Like, uh, what what would your opinion be on Atlanta coming in tonight on their form? Because I I know we've had they've had some issues trying to face this Man City side in the past, just in friendlies or in league matches and such like that. Do you think they could turn it around on the bounce? Yeah. So I think well, we played them, like I said, uh, not last round, but the round before that, and I think it was a tough game. They ended up squeaking away a goal on some on a play mm-hmm. that was kind of FIFA ish. Uh, mm-hmm. you, you take a look at their last, I think it's like six games or seven games. I think they have like six wins and one draw. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, in the last seven games, they mm-hmm. have six wins and one draw. So I think as far as their form is concerned currently, uh, they're looking like a, a really good squad. I think the part of that is that change from 3-5-2. I, th- I don't think the 4-3-3 three, three was quite working for them. Yeah, it's a good change. I love to see my man Goat playing in that camp slot where I know he can shine. He's been absolutely killer all season long for them. I think he's going to come through your clutch. of Goat, Wayne, I'm, I'm taking a look at the Atlanta sideline, and I cannot see Goat anywhere. Do you have any report on where his status is? There were reports last night of a, of a party held on the penthouse floor here at the, uh, the hotel across the street. We saw him there at the party at our local sources. Other than that, I haven't seen him today. No, I will keep you in, informed along with the League 2 information. Inf- confidential information flying left and right. I have to go. I have to go. Cheers, Wade. Thank you, bud. Well, I believe Man City's game ended, so they yes. should be getting back in the locker room now. Uh, we're just waiting for them to get all the way in. And it looks like, oh, Wayne, I think I see Goatless running onto the field. Yes, yes. There he's coming. He's coming. It looks like he's he's wiping a little uh a little uh, dribble from last night it seems. It might have taken a turn for the worst with some uh some time in the bathroom, but he's here for the game. He will be playing. He made it. We'll get him in there, get him suited up, get him cleaned up, and we'll get it going. Uh looks like they're going to be trying to connect very shortly. So hopefully we'll be able to bring you some good action in this League Cup final. We'll take one last look at Man City's lineup, just so everyone at home can see if you missed the start of this. See, any more predictions before we get started? Anything coming in right now? I see a 2-1 City, a 2-0 Atlanta. Not sure if we got over those. Uh, I think I got that because I got I remember the notorious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I know I said five one. What was your prediction again? I'm sorry, I forgot. I had two zero goals from goalless and free hole. So okay. free hole. Fair enough. We're both on the Atlanta sideline, but we just right. uh, don't okay. know how much it's gonna be. Hit them up saying three one city. Uh, both teams are connecting now, so hopefully we'll get you a good connection. We'll take you down to live action. Yeah, Wani God, I'm going big or going home. That's the way I feel tonight. Absolutely. I said it because I called me crazy for the yeah. Benfica result last time, and I uh, man, dead on one zero. So. Yeah, absolutely. I'm getting a little bit of like glitchiness on this stream. Are, are you getting something similar? Do not think so. I'm pretty smooth right now. Well, it looks like it's smoothed out. Oh no, it's not. Atlanta in their red. Uh, Man City in their teals. Hopefully it doesn't keep up with that. Looks like it's settled down there. Atlanta coming down this right sideline. Nice tackle there by Man City. Gonna be called for a foul though. Yellow card early on. Only the second minute I want to here, see ref. That for Wanyama. Already coming off a red card in the semifinals of the late night league playoffs. I'm getting a lot of lag. Conference. I'm gonna just refresh this so I can. For sure, for sure. I'll give you updated. Here we go. Atlanta on the sideline. Get a slide tackle inside the box. Ball's gonna go out of bounds for a corner though. I think I'm Atlanta's just a few seconds behind you now. I'm at sure three twelve. Yep, three twenty. So I'm lucky. Here we go. Atlanta's setting up their corner here. See if they're gonna go top box. Looks like they're gonna try and escape footy away from the defenders. A little too far there. Man City able to clear that out, but it's ball's gonna come right back in. Aquino walking down the sideline. Nothing much doing there. Finds Pink's backwards. Man City. It's able to handle that though. A little flick on. Nice little passing here from Atlanta, but then cut out by Tom. Bauer yeah, that makes it be absolutely killer. This this game, I believe, especially with Goatless Man in that cam roll, but you'll see him flying from left to right, playing the striker role if he needs to, playing CDM if he needs to. He's absolutely versatile. Yeah, I, I know Exile and Goatless, they really think that they're a perfect match for the. Um, the two of them together as far as managing and co-managing. So it's nice to see how they put together this squad and how they play together. Schmurter Polo now coming down the line, playing a nice ball in. Jay's ways is able to clear that out. Atlanta with another corner here. Let's see. I'm sure you see if can run to it. Yeah, last time they put it a little bit further out, maybe they'll try and hold it in, and they do. Footy's going to win that easily. Falls out of bounds. No one able to be on the receiving end of that one. Very unlucky. A little set play from the training ground. You can see them working on it. Uh, a few more predictions. Somewhere cool in saying 1-1, one, one, but it has to end in... If this is the last game. It has to end on the either PKs... Time, uh, yep. expect, final. Cool in. Shout out to cool in. Expect Bill saying 2-0 Atlanta. Striker saying 2-0 Man City. Yeah, a little back and forth. I like it. 50-50 seems down yeah, the middle. Yeah, definitely uh, predictions on both sides. So I think it's closer than people realize. I think Atlanta is sitting at 6. Uh, Manchester City at 10th, I believe. Uh, Atlanta now fun. working this left sideline. Schmerta Polo with a lot of space here. Man in the middle. Two options. Wanyama with a nice interception, though. Cam dropping back to help out his defense. Man City now with their own little breakaway, trying to get some offense. Haven't had it much out here. They had a man open on the swing. And back in the middle. Footy with a nice slide. Lots with the header. Schmurter with a nice clearance. Clear off the line. Man, Schmurter chicken. Absolutely great player. His defensive work rate is next to none, honestly. Having to match up against him most of the times. I've seen him do absolute work on that left side. Yeah, he, that keeper was definitely beaten on that one. Schmurter class to get back there and clear that off the line keep his uh, squads at least even for now absolutely you'd love to see for man city that being their first attack what a great attack it was yeah, atlanta dominating possession can't quite figure out the final third man city with another opportunity here tom with a nice shot apoc with a nice save 
All right, Adam, I'm not going to trouble APOC too much. Got to be a lot better to beat him. Yeah, he's, I think he was probably trying to sneak it in that near post. Just wasn't enough there. Man City going top box. Matty with a nice winner. Playing Frio out. Makino playing a through ball to Tatlas. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, too. Defenders two. are not going to keep him up. And he scores! Upper 90. Absolutely class strike from Talonless. What a ball to send him in, and it's just it's just worked from there. Easy work for him to finish that up. That's a man's finish from down here. The crowd is going nuts. What a goal. Cheers, Wayne. Man City. Class, Atlanta up now. Here we go. Atlanta goes up 1-0. Man City needs to answer back. Don't need to force it yet. Still very early. But they can't get too behind, and it's going to be a race there. As I say that, FIFA Talentless is running free. He's got a man in the middle trying to find him. Bauer with a nice come out and save. Talentless from a move from, from Liverpool at midseason to Atlanta and has bolstered this attack greatly now, playing that striker role. You're seeing these runs here really breaking down that defense. They're not keeping up. They need to drop, make sure they're covering that. Talentless is yeah, off to the races. Apart. Yeah. Center backs and not quite fast enough to keep up with them. Doesn't seem like he's doing anything fancy, just running straight. And... Frio leads her with a nice shot! That Beats him at the near post. I love that connection. Go list to Frio. They've been working on that for absolutely ages now. And wow, two up just <laughs> like that, 33 minutes in. That came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, Frio gets the ball and it's a one hit wonder. Top Absolutely, got to find, find Goat top box and they'll find a striker for sure. Well played by this Atlanta squad going up 2-0 here in the 35th minute. Frio with the ball. Oh, Jay's ways with a nice interception. Get it out of there. Atlanta playing clean passing right now through this final third. Absolutely splitting apart Man City. Seems like they got no answer for it. Yeah, they're going to need to regroup here. Cover those runners. Don't let them just run right down your, the throat of your defense. You know, that's too easy for this Atlanta squad. Looks like Atlanta may have lost a player. It might have been Schmerta pausing. I speak from experience. He pauses a lot. Yeah, he just pauses. He's going to come back in here. He and saw a man wearing an odd hat in the stands and was just mesmerized for a second, it looked like. I'm not quite sure, though. If I get any more information, I'll let you know. Cheers, Wayne. Atlanta trying to create another opportunity here. Maybe just before half, go up 3 nothing. See if they're able to work it down. Goatless wins that ball back. Nikino, a little too much. Wanyama coming back to help his defense out. Nikino now with the ball out wide. A lot of pressure on him. He's just holding up. Holding up well. Lazo with a nice clear. It's battling out his goalkeeper a little bit there. Yeah, Man City might have a break here. Lazo on the run. Three options coming close to him. Trying to find someone top box. Goatless is there for the interception, though. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum. He has to approach halftime, man. It seems like Man City's only had one really class opportunity with Smurda Chicken clearing it off the line. Yeah, they're not doing much on offense at the moment. To see if they can regroup, maybe have a, a fiery Logan halftime speech to get them going. For sure, they're going to need it the way this defense is playing, hasn't been playing too much. Well, you predicted 2 nothing, so if it ended now, yep. you'd be good. I got half my prediction right. Talentless was the other goal scorer. I had Goat being one of them, but uh, Frijolito got it dead on. Yeah. Getting a cheeky pass inside the box and bangs it like he usually does. I think the stats pretty much say, or they tell what we were seeing on the field. You know, yeah, absolutely. The, I guess the opportunities were technically even possession dominated by Atlanta, and Atlanta able to convert their opportunities, put them on target. Manchester City, I think they had that one on target. I guess. I believe it was since it didn't really like you know go since it was a clearance like the way it was, it doesn't count it as on target. But I believe those two shots were only from that one opportunity, yeah. from the save deflection and the header back in. Was there two real shots this entire game? We'll have to. Uh see if they can maintain this possession battle that they've been doing 56 percent is a, a good number but if man city is able to put together some passes maybe they're able to create something here and create get right back into this game yeah see if they can split absolutely putting in work 
And he just gets rid of it here, trying to alleviate some pressure. Exile playing back to his keeper. Atlanta just working around. Now playing the big ball over the top. Jay's Ways is going to win that, though. Pretty easy for him. Atlanta gets it right back, though. Man City almost had a little bit of a break there. Ends up rolling harmlessly to APOC. Moving from Atlanta has been absolutely fluid. Trying to get into that final third. Those two great chances that they created. Absolutely dime finishes. Yeah, I think their possession and then also doing something threatening with their possession is uh, the difference here. A lot of space out on this left wing. Uh, Freely took got held up there. You can see the idea. Yeah. Just, he knew the ball was going to come there, but accidentally on the center back got caught up. Man City now with a little break. Lazo with a nice move. B3 people. Finding some help over the other side. Tom coming in, looking for some help. Oh, well defended. Maybe just lucky. Who knows? Played a little ping pong in the six yard box right there, just bouncing off people. Out for a the, corner. The defenders are talking for the, to themselves. They're trying to get it figured out down here. Man City pressing. Yeah, Man City finally created something there. They had to do a little bit of one on one, but after that, they had numbers coming up to help. They're going to need more of that here in the second half. Yeah, 2 0 is not a deficit that you can't come back from. You know, some say 2 0 is the hardest lead to defend because the, the other team just scores one, then it, all of a sudden that pressure seems to mount a little bit more. Just a little tiny bit more, and that might be all that they need. Meat now finding laser in the middle, working around, but Atlanta defends it well. Talentless is going to run it out a little bit. Man City implementing this overload high press once they get to the wings, trying to shut out Schmerda and Makino, trying to get them off the ball, trying to force it back to the middle. They needed to do something. Angel wanted a shout out. Angel, here it is. <laughs> Angel, shout out. <laughs> I'm going to be looking at the Twitch chat a little more while watching the stream. Who fixated on the game? <laughs> Atlanta def defending well. Yeah, I've only given up really two opportunities here, but Man City's really stepped up their press. Atlanta can't quite get out of their own end on this side. Absolutely. Will, will Man City be able to get a goal from it from this high press? You can high press all you want, but if you're not going to get any goals from it, it's still going to end up being second place. No one wants to be second place. Yeah, interestingly enough, Atlanta is dropping all 11 behind the ball. And just yeah, absolutely. Doing... Maybe they know they got the lead to a lead, but against this team, they made it to a final for a reason. It's not Man City is not going to bend over and just take it. Yeah, here comes Criminal Laser with an opportunity to try to find Tom, but Maddie Dot cleans that up and clears it out. Oh, Frio almost had a chance at that, but then got held off the ball. Schmurder wins a header. Tarrant was not playing it in. Lazo with a nice interception though and gets it up to. Tom is looking for his strikers to make a little run here. Will defending nicely. Can't get it all the way back, though. Lazo with a nice step over. He's got men back post. Exiles there, though. Coming back in. Meat on the back post. Criminal Laser trying to put it in exile there again. Absolutely putting it work right now. I feel like Atlanta might get a counter here. You never know. Especially with the high press, what can implement. Oh, and just as you say that, here comes say Talentless. <laughs> Talentless on, on the break. run. Not too many options here. Nice skill move, though. Loses it there after the skill. Atlanta gets okay. it right back. Playing a deep ball. Most likely going out of bounds there. Now approaching the 80th minute, Man City's really going to need a press here. It's where you might see that what you were talking about, that third goal on a counter. Mm -hmm, absolutely. That's where it's going to come for their third goal. Absolutely, it will be a counter attack. Now that they're committing men back, try to defend what they have, having the great 2-0 lead.
Man City trying to work it out. Laza with the ball here. Finding criminal laser. Nice shot. Apoc with a nice save. <laughs> Tom doing a little cooking, trying to find the middle. Footy with a nice clear. Laza with a nice bite. Laypock with the save. Little bit of pressure there applied by Man City. Now Atlanta's running. Frito high on the header, though. He misses it over the bar. He had it. That was the opportunity to seal it. Absolute dag it would have been. Third goal would have been over. Starting to see Man City's chances really fade here. They're going to need to put a miracle together at this point. But Atlanta's going to try and get some possession. Not doing much. Man City working the ball around. That defense is just holding up. Lazar with a nice fortune and break. Gets the ball to Criminal Laser off the post. Back to Lazar and it's a goal. 2-1. One. One rebound in. 2-1. 87th minute. We might have a shocker here on our what hands. What a finish we have here. Man City believe they can do it. I, I believe they can too. Cheers, Wayne. We're going to see just two minutes left in the regular time. Then we might have some uh, stoppage time. If need be, I feel like Atlanta's going to sit back. You're going to see. This might be it right here. You're going to see Man City come all the way up now. Absolutely. Oh, Two at the back formation. Center back's probably going to head up here. Goalkeeper probably going to be sitting three quarters of the way. Only two minutes of extra time. This might be their last opportunity. You don't want to get bit, though. Oh, nice tackle there by Talentless. Goatless playing Frio out in front. He's got space. He's going to take the shot. He does. Bauer does a nice save. This is going to be it, I think. It's going to be a corner. Can you just hold it in the corner? Move the ball around. Most likely the last possession here. Already hitting the 92nd minute. And that is going to do it. That's going to do it. Atlanta able to sneak home the win 2-1. And TJL the Adam loses his prediction streak. Unlucky. No. Man. Two one. I needed to give them one. Unlucky. It was a good game overall though. Absolutely back and forth affair. First half, I feel Atlanta absolutely had their foot on the gas. Took it off a little bit in the second half. Maybe it was from that Man City high press. They weren't really expecting it. But uh, absolute class from Atlanta who fell in the League Cup final last season to Inter Milan. Now they get to hold this trophy up for their own. Yeah, some consolation. They finished six. I don't think it's quite as good as they not finished. They it could maneuver from there, but they're sitting in sixth place. I don't think it's quite as good of a season as they were hoping for going into it. Um, but it was class, I would say. You know, they, they, yeah, you you believe Atlanta coming in from last season uh, under some new management, having lost already the League Cup final the season prior. Say maybe can we can get the title run going, make it to the final again, but this time. They get the they get the trophy. Yeah, it's nice to add some silverware to their repertoire. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, let's see if we're able to get an interview. Here. Get Will in here. <laughs> yeah, we should get Will definitely. Who else? Before we get in here, uh, do we have any classified? In information Wayne on League 2 yet or no? Well, without revealing too much, I believe that uh, Barcelona believed that you could leave the match heading oh, to extra no. time thinking it was a golden goal. Oh no. And therefore disqualifying them from the game. Oh no. <laughs> We're not, quite sure. We're not quite sure why the bus, the Barcelona bus driver left the stadium knowing this would be the case, but here we are. I'm not, Newcastle's unsure. They're celebrating on the pitch with the fans, but no one really knows why they have chosen to left, to leave the stadium. Back to you. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Wade. Cheers, Wade. Thanks for that bit of information. That's all. I believe you have to say it. You hate to see it. Absolutely hate to see it. Absolutely. You got to know it's a one game final. Come on. King, That's all. You got to know that. <laughs> the curse of the manager of Barcelona continues. Oh, man. <laughs> Rio the, called him, man. He did. He gets, <laughs> the gets bunch to of the cells. playoffs oh. and then just oh, folds. No. Oh, it's that so is... unfortunate. 
Let's see. Looks like we're going to have Exile join us for an interview. We'll try and get in here swiftly. Hopefully. Man, how do you leave from a playoff final? That's crazy. You well, have to know it's a one game final at that point. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how how that uh, that occurs. While we're waiting on uh, XL to come in here, got to give a shout out to Strikers98. He's begging for it. Got to give it to him. <laughs> got to give it to him. I'll give props to Newcastle. Absolute great season. going to finish it off next season, League One, and see how they can do. Yeah, it'll be in, it's a, a a good run for them. I don't think they were quite in the top three for a while, and then all of a sudden they snuck into that fourth spot. I think it was. Yeah, man, they they turned up really, especially toward the back end of the season. We saw how they could play in uh, the marquee matchup they had a couple weeks back. But um, man, Barcelona to another to another time in the league too. You gotta imagine that uh, King Snow is getting a little frustrated with uh, losing on the last game day to keep him absolutely where he is. That's a uh, that's tough. That's really tough. Yep. Two Sundays ago, they were champions, and now they're sitting staring at another League Two campaign. But I think we got someone in here. There he is. It is. We have Exile, the Atlanta manager. Exile, congratulations on adding some hardware to your uh, sh your showcase hey thanks guys i appreciate you having me on yeah so you guys it seemed like the first half started off more i would say hot i guess you had 56 percent uh, percent possession also had some good opportunities was there something you did in the second half that kind of limited that it seemed like it changed in the second half yeah i, I think the first the first half we went out to uh to establish uh the game plan um which was not get smoked three to nothing um uh, because that's plan. exactly what they did for to us. <laughs> the first two times we played them this season, they beat us 3-0. So shout mm -hmm. out to them for being good this season. Um, and we knew the only way we were going to beat them is is to break their press quickly uh, in the first 15 minutes. So we knew we had to to get in quickly and uh, and score. And, and so that's what we did. And then getting the second one was, you know, just extra. So in the second half, I think it was more of we knew our defense could hold. Um, we knew we could absorb the pressure for a little bit. And then if we could break out on a counter, we would. But... Uh, which we did, but unfortunately it wasn't, it wasn't scored, but that's what we figured we could do. And, and I think it worked to perfection that game. Gotcha. Well, that's a, that's a great game plan. I appreciate you running through that. You know, that's a, uh, you know, that we saw the press come out in that second half on Man City. Uh, we saw them really push up numbers. I mean, they, part of that was that they had to, but it was still organized. And I think uh, you guys did have maybe like two counters, I think, towards the end there you could have really stretched that lead but other than that man city really kind of gave you a run for run for your money didn't get quite get the goal until i think it was 86 minutes so a little too little too late but you guys did well to hold on there yeah i mean they're they're a great team and we knew they would come back at us i mean that's not that's not a surprise i didn't think it was gonna be a walkover in in, in a cup final so um i think we we knew they were going to put down a press because they've done it like I said, the first two games of, of the season mm -hmm. against us. And, and they came out swinging those two games and got up early, and we knew that we couldn't allow that to happen. And so as we went into the second half, we, we knew that they would probably put the pressure on enough to, to break through, but we thought our defense could, could hold up. We didn't give up any goals tonight except for that one. So, um, you know, we're pretty happy with, with the result. Obviously, we love getting silverware. So um, hopefully we can keep that up for next season. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are looking at a Super League campaign that is trying to sneak into that uh that top five spot. So it's going to be good to see how you guys can match up on the last game day. Yeah, but, uh... I, I wish we got some help from from a couple of the other teams, but you know, sometimes yeah. you got to do what you got to do. I mean, nine points is not enough when you're when you're behind Inter and and you have Chelsea right there, and and obviously uh, Leon's chipping, <laughs> you know, nipping at our heels. So it's it's tough, but. You know, we're right there, and we control what we can control, which is just get get the last two games out of the way with, with six points, and we'll have to see how the how the rest of the table shapes out. But, Absolutely. You guys should probably just make it three. NYC needs the points. Come on, Excel. Help me out. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, if we weren't fighting for six, we wouldn't throw a game. But right. I'm just saying. Uh, uh, right. Don't you hear uh, that. No, we wouldn't, we wouldn't throw the game. But, it, you know, it's a matter of, 
we definitely need another team's help. And uh, it's Absolutely. unfortunate that that's just how it goes. But uh, we've been we've been a good team all season, and it, it's good to see the team get some silverware out of it because they've been great. And unfortunately, we just had too many draws that should have been wins and too many losses that should have been draws, and that's how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, – did. Do you think the the change from four three three, I believe you're running that early on to a three five two, uh, kind of improved your form, or is that something that you guys? When did you actually do that? I'm not exactly sure. So the four three three, we uh, phased it out. I think after we started to recognize that that uh, Buzz was struggling at left wing, and even though he's a he's a prolific player, he was just not finding the form that he was having in in Afcon, and knowing how great he is. Um, we decided to make the change because uh, we felt we weren't creating enough chances to get him involved. Um, and being that he is one of the three attackers that we have, if he's not getting involved, then it's a problem. Uh, so we adapted. Um, it wasn't initially going to be something that we did long term, uh, but we went on a 10, 10 game on beaten run, which included Benfica. <laughs> you know, so we had one draw in the entire 10 games and it was Benfica. So we stuck with it after that. Obviously, I don't want to be right, yeah. the kind of manager that over manages. So we kept riding that wave and and uh, we thought about switching back many times, believe me, but it just it <laughs> never felt right. We always had a big game, uh, a big opponent that game day that that we just didn't want to risk it. So. Yeah, you should see that next season, though. I, I, I foresee that happening. You think you will make that switch eventually? I, I think you'll see some variation of, of probably both, um, maybe a hybrid. We'll see. It'll be interesting to see what changes they make to the FIFA 20 uh, for season. It's 13, I believe, is the next one. Are we on 11? 12, 12, 12, 12 is the next one, yeah. Man, oh, it's also it's, the future, future. It's a, it's, it's a long day, man. It's a long <laughs> That's day. That's right. Uh, yeah, bro. I think it's Sunday, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it'd be interesting to see for season twelve what changes come on FIFA twenty and how that changes the game flow. But you know, three five two has been the tried and true this season, so it kind of or this whole FIFA. Uh, yeah, so really. Kind of makes sense that you know changing there would just give you a little bit more of a base until you're able to implement that four three three. Yeah, we knew with with other players coming in that that it is the easiest formation to adapt to because most teams have played it. And right. so it's not necessarily an easier formation to run. It's just, it's easier because people are more well adapted to it, you know? And so, so when you're bringing in new players like countless, it's easier to, to bed them into the team um, with a, with a situation that they're familiar with and comfortable with. So it, that's ultimately why we didn't change is because it would, it mm -hmm. would change the dynamic of the team yeah. in a way that we weren't comfortable with. So, yeah, no, I, I think I would like to see it again. And uh, the way that I've drawn it up, I, I think it can be successful in this league. It's just a matter of finding the right way and, and the right time. Yep, just got to see some love for those fullbacks. Shout out to all the fullbacks out there. Stay committed. There's some <laughs> teams out there for you. Yeah, as a left back, I, you know, I want to bring it back, but it's only a matter of time. All right. Well, I appreciate you joining us. Two games left on your season, NYCFC and then Bayer Leverkusen. Good luck in those last two games, and I really do appreciate you coming in and answering some of our questions. Absolutely, guys. Thanks for having me on. That's the way go. Appreciate it, bud. Any, any last words, Adam? Uh, I can't, can't confirm. The Barca situation is correct from Wayne. Uh, so it's going to be interesting fallout to see, but uh, it's been a great day so far. Yeah, well, that's uh... – you know, you hate to see it. You don't Absolutely. want to see a playoff <laughs> final end that way. Uh, Default. <sighs> Looking forward to playing Valencia and the boys over there. Uh, that'll be Sunday. Leave, leave streamed. Yeah, so that, that'll go, be good. Me to it. Uh, I appreciate everyone for coming out and watching this marquee matchup. I hope you enjoyed watching Atlanta take home the League Cup final. Everyone stay safe out there, and we'll see you on Sunday. Actually Sunday this time, Adam. Yes, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday. Got it.